With the Nintendo Switch heading into its twilight years, production of certain Switch cartridges might be getting a bit scarce. Now, over the past couple months or so, I've been seeing some trends on various different physical Nintendo Switch games. So in this video, we're going to be going over 10 or so games that you should buy now before they are rare. Now, the first game that we're going to get into here is Fatal Frame Mask of the Lunar Eclipse. Now, this game is available on Play Asia for $50 plus you also have the shipping fee which is going to vary based on where you live and how fast you want the shipping now the reason why this game is going to probably get a bit rare is because you just don't see it in stores it's not everywhere it's only in i think the asian region there might be some other regions if i'm not mistaken but it's just not everywhere and fatal frame is definitely one of more of those niche franchises where a lot of the games have shot up in value on previous systems so it might be a good idea if you're interested in fatal frame or a collector to pick up fatal frame mask of the lunar eclipse on the nintendo switch now next up that we're going to talk about is metroid dread now a lot of you guys might be wondering wait a minute metroid dread that's a big popular first party nintendo game that's going to be around well not necessarily if you look at previous physical cartridge based metroid games those have become very expensive in recent memory so it might be a good idea to pick up metroid dread at a reduced price i've seen it for around 50 dollars or so pick it up at that price or maybe even a bit cheaper and see what happens down the line because we've seen some gold mines form from stuff like metroid zero mission metroid fusion and other cartridge based metroid games now the disc based metroid games it's a whole different situation there but when it comes to cartridges metroid dread might be a good buy to get now next up that we're going to talk about is no man's sky now this is one of those impossible type of ports on the nintendo switch and it recently got a price drop to around 30 dollars and here's the thing with this guys some of you guys might be wondering wait a minute no man's sky why even that well if you look at some of the other big third party games impossible ports those have been drying up considerably on the nintendo switch or value has held up for example Skyrim on the Switch. That's still upward of full price or a bit lower in lots of different regions or just not available. The Witcher 3 is still 40 something dollars to $50 depending on where you're trying to pick it up. Diablo 3, that's even just hard to find on Amazon and other places. Now on eBay and secondhand, you'll be able to find these, but when it comes to official new copies, getting more and more scarce as time goes on. So you definitely might wanna check out No Man's Sky, especially at a reduced price and see if it becomes some Something later on next up is the legend of heroes we've got the legend of heroes trails to azure and the legend of heroes trails from zero both of these games have impressively well at least let's just start with trails from zero has held its value it's still $50 in many places I don't think there are a lot of cartridges out there with the legend of heroes so I do feel that I think Nippon Ichi and Falcom are being conservative with their estimates making sure that they produce just enough to what they can sell that's the reason why the price of these games have not gone down since the launch of them on the Nintendo Switch I do think because of the niche nature of these games that three four or five years from now we're probably not going to see any cartridges brand new for people to buy and it is going to become a rare game i do feel that that is very possible for all of the legend of heroes games but especially legend of heroes trails from zero and also legend of heroes trails into azure like this line of legend of heroes games for sure so you might want to check those out especially if you can get a deal or if you have a coupon check them out physical these could absolutely become rare gems later down the line next up is metroid prime remastered yes we are back on metroid and the reason why i'm talking about this is because people are having trouble just finding metroid prime remastered it seems like nintendo wasn't really sure exactly how well this game would do and they did listen and say hey we've got more coming but how much more coming do they have we're starting to see games like super mario 3d all-stars that game is starting to get a bit more rare and heck you can put that on your buy now list at this point if you didn't already get it but games like that are starting to become more rare did nintendo kind of shadow do that with metroid prime remastered we don't know at this point i think after the backlash from super mario 3d all-stars i'm not sure if they're just going to even tell us when it comes to production times and how long they're going to do certain things in the future i think they're going to mask it or maybe disguise it with hey shadow dropped or hey it's right now available and we don't really know how much they're going to produce or how long they're going to produce these so if you can get your hands on metroid prime remastered right now 
Go ahead and just get that done. Take it out, get it done. It's $40 most places, but there's been delayed shipping after delayed shipping on a lot of these orders. So it does seem like it's back ordered at a lot of different places. So see if you can find it new, go into your Walmarts, your Best Buys, whatever the case is, and try to pick it up right now. So you're not sorry in the next four, five, six years, or whatever the case is, when this game becomes rare. And we've seen this a little bit of a history. We can go all the way back to Metroid Prime Trilogy on the Nintendo Wii, where that game came out, people didn't buy it, it got discounted to 20, Nintendo stopped producing it. So we just don't know with this, especially with the Metroid franchise. So do yourself a solid and make sure that you get Metroid Prime Remastered as soon as possible. Next up is a game that I didn't expect to become rare, but actually is becoming very rare, and that is Attack on Titan 2 Final Battle. Now, the Attack on Titan games are very interesting because Attack on Titan is a massive or was a massive anime franchise, anime manga. It did incredibly well. The series was super popular. To me, it was like the precursor almost to Demon Slayer and the popularity of that anime, not at this point. But the games, although very good, didn't necessarily sell crazy amounts of numbers, which was interesting because I felt that it was a very good adaptation of the anime and everything. So if you're interested in Attack on Titan or just a collector, check out Attack on Titan 2 Final Battle. It's $89 right now at this point. And the PS and Xbox versions are even higher. So the production of the cartridges for the first and second game, but especially the second game here, definitely weren't high. They did not produce a lot of them and it seems like they're just done. These cartridges are getting very scarce. So if you can find a loose copy here or there, or even better yet, a new copy of Attack on Titan 2, do not miss the opportunity to pick up that game. Next up is Cadence of Hyrule Crypt of the Necro Dancer. This is $36. And the reason why I'm saying check out this game, because some of these quirky Zelda collaborations or some of these weird type of Zelda games always end up going rare especially cartridge based we've seen it before with previous zelda games so i don't think that this is an opportunity that collectors are going to be able to miss because i highly doubt that an indie game because it's essentially an indie game right an indie zelda crossover game that's incredibly unique that also came with the vinyl as well which shout outs to nintendo they sent me that that game is going to be not around like i think that we're going to see it now at this point there are cartridges to buy but later down the line it's going to get more more scarce just because of the nature of the game and some of the past history with Zelda cartridge based games so to me it's one of those games that you definitely pick up and at a low cost too it's a low risk investment with a $36 buy-in most places maybe you can get it for a bit cheaper it's a bit more depending on where you live but I do think that it is maybe a good idea to look into it and see later down the line exactly how much collectors would go for it, especially with how unique and weird the game is Next up is Bayonetta Origins, Ceresa, and the Lost Demon. Now, this is a newer game as of the time that I'm recording this, and some people might be wondering, wait a minute, this is a new game, it's going to be around, it's going to be cheaper and all that, and yes, I absolutely agree with you. Right now, it's about $57 to $60, depending on where you want to get it at, so you can get a little bit of a discount on it, and yes, it's probably going to get cheaper. We're already seeing discounts on Bayonetta 3, for example, that's $47 on Amazon, but I do feel that all of the Bayonetta games cartridge-based Bayonetta games in general definitely need to be looked at in terms of collection because we saw an issue with Bayonetta 2 or we're seeing an issue with Bayonetta 2 on the Nintendo Switch. Sometimes you can find copies when it comes to the US version at a good price. Some of the copies with Bayonetta 2 and Bayonetta 1 combined are more expensive than MSRP. So it's a little bit shaky in terms of Bayonetta. Now we also have seen Bayonetta 1, for example, get reprinted because there just wasn't really any of those or Nintendo just didn't have them on the Switch. So these Bayonetta games, I'm not sure how long there's going to be cartridges just freely flowing around. They're not the best selling games. That's one thing that a lot of the games on this list, these games don't sell millions upon millions upon millions of copies, like 5 million copies plus or 10 million copies plus. A lot of these games are in the million to 2 million, 3 million type of range and where the popularity of them aren't the highest, like let's just say Mario or Zelda or Smash Brothers. So I think it's a good idea, especially for a smaller title that's absolutely not going to sell as well as Bayonetta 2 or Bayonetta 3 
on the Nintendo Switch. It's just not. We saw the opening sales in Japan. So I don't see this game being a long production run type of game. It's a smaller type of title, almost like an indie title in its own right. And I just don't think that there's going to be a lot of them years down the line. So if you can wait and pick it up later down the line, go ahead. Or if you want to pick it up now just to secure it, want to play the game and also have that, you can do so. But I do feel that this is going to be one of those games that if you have physical five, six years from now, it might be worth hundreds of dollars or more last but definitely not least we're going to be getting into the atelier rise up franchise now i think i've covered this before on previous videos but i wanted to go over it again because atelier rise 2 has blown up in price it is 70 nine dollars now we do know that atelier riser 3 recently launched as of the time that i'm recording this video so i'm telling you right now based on atelier riser 2 and also atelier riser 1 both of those games had stock issues both of those games had blown up over msrp issues with secondhand sellers and things like that both of these games for some reason <laughs> definitely are scarce on the nintendo switch playstation it's a bit easier to find them but on the nintendo switch they are a bit scarce i think that kobe tecmo is making sure they produce only enough to where it's going to be profitable because it's not like they're putting it on a smaller cartridge and then making you download it they're buying that bigger cartridge size for whatever space the game is so it's definitely not the cheapest to produce so i think that koei tecmo is making sure that they don't overproduce the cartridges because they constantly have to wait look evaluate and then see how much to produce wait look evaluate and see how much to produce and you have to produce i think at least a hundred thousand cartridges per each production run from what i understand or it's 50 to a hundred thousand so it's not like it's a cheap investment each time so i think that's what's going on with the Tiger rise of one two on the Nintendo Switch, but also the franchise isn't a multi, multi, multi million selling franchise. It's very good. They did announce that Atelier Rizo 1 and 2 have sold 1.6 million units total, so that's pretty good for those type of games, but it's not the highest out there. So you can clearly see that Koei Tecmo is being careful, so they are very profitable with these games. Now, with the last one, Atelier Rizo 3, go ahead and get it right now because I actually ordered it, I think, a day or two ago on the Nintendo Switch, and it's already delayed. They're already saying that it's going to be April. So the initial batch already ran out. Everybody that wanted to get it, at least on launch day, has already ordered it and they've got it. And it's pretty much sold out. And now they're going on the second or third batch in terms of what's getting back to Kobe Tecmo and everything. So I see this game, all three of them, Atelier Rise of 1, 2, and 3, get those then on the Nintendo Switch. They are going to be valuable later down the line. This is the last of the Atelier Ryza series when it comes to this trilogy of her games. Not sure what they're going to do next, but who knows if they're even going to revisit this at all in the future. So pick them up right now so you're not left out in the cold with these games when they do become valuable because they already are valuable at this point when it comes to the first and second game on the Nintendo Switch. So those are 10 or so games to pick up or buy right now on the Nintendo Switch because they could be rare. Are there any other games that you want me to cover? Let me know in the chat and check out my previous videos on the Buy Now series. I will have it right for you on screen. And also there will be a playlist for you guys link in the description where i can put together all of those videos for you if you enjoy them i do have more videos coming as well in this series so look out for that and also some general videos as well when it comes to tips for collecting and more so thank you guys so much for watching i appreciate it and we'll see you for the next video peace